So what's some advice you'd like to give somebody with um who thinks they might have ADHD, first um, of all? Well, okay, I should say, I'm actually talking to this bloke uh, who I met on the internet um, recently about it. Um, talk to people who do. There's lots of communities. We love talking to people, obviously. We're a very chatty bunch. Um, do check um, an official website. Don't, don't do a BuzzFeed test if you can help it. Um, check through to make sure that you understand it. Talk to your family, the close ones, people who actually know who you are. Uh, my brother... Uh, when when I did my official check, my brother did the counter test to make sure that I wasn't making shit up. Um, and they were like, okay, yeah, we'll take that on. And they check you for a range of stuff as well, like autism, depression, blah, 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 blah. Everything on the um, on the, on the the DSM uh, register. So also, yeah, the neurodivergency thing as well. I mean, they're checking for everything. So um, also autism, sorry. Autism comes mm-hmm. in hand in hand with ADHD, but we don't have it, that, I don't think. No. Uh, anyway, so... Um, what else? I would say, yeah, check it out. Don't take it seriously um, because you probably don't have it or you do. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. It doesn't matter. Maybe you've got bits of it. Maybe there are bits. If you're looking at something, then you're probably going to link it to certain events and that might not necessarily be true. Right. Uh, so make sure you've got a second opinion of somebody who loves mm. and cares about you but also knows you well enough to tell you that you're full of shit. Right. Um, also, I would say um, stop blaming yourself for shit that you can't help. Like, mm. yeah, fine, it's, it's, but then again, don't don't not take responsibility for it. So right. there's a difference between being like, you know, like, don't take too much responsibility is what I'm saying. Because I know that one of my ex, every time I have a breakup, I take the full blame. And yet these other people are using that to be able to hate me and just walk away and not blame themselves. And that's a very normal thing to want to do. You know, he was a bastard. He said he was being a bastard. Therefore, he's the bastard. I'm right. I can get on with my life. He's fucked and fuck him. That's the way it works. But instead of taking that blame and that pain and all that, all of that pressure, you have to kind of come to the point, and it takes a long time where you just say, well, actually, no, nah, fuck them. Um, because you're not to blame as much as other people mm. want to blame you. You're not, it's not your fault. We make very easy scapegoats. Right. Because we're too willing to be the scapegoat. So yeah, like my bit of advice, basically, like Les has covered most of it, but it would be like, actually be quite proud of it because now when you like self-diagnose whatever it makes a lot of sense to you and you can actually realize like wow that is a great thing like i'm happy to be different and, like yeah. we are all different unique and right. it's absolutely yeah amazing. we're actual snowflakes and actually <laughs> yeah and you can actually just realize what what are your strengths it helps you it actually empowers you a bit because you realize what you're good at it's actually okay if you're yeah. not good at that because fucking hell it's something wrong with your brain like anyway. just it's fine Fuck it. exactly so it's just like you actually i think it helps me sort of find my niche and be sort of like a lot more confident confident about what I want to do because yeah. it's like all it helps guide there. you as well yeah, yeah. Like, I mean because otherwise you end up going down all these little rabbit holes and different things that you kind of that either look enticing and aren't mm. or you know and you end up finding boring but you're not sure why because you re- I think one of the things that we skip B we know A we know C we, we always skip B mm. so the method and you know like and the actual mundanity there is no method just whatever works yeah exactly get around it get yeah, through yeah. it I don't know from A to B and everyone hates that everyone hates mm. it because it's like look at you being creative you bastard you know like it didn't work that follow, well my first go it took me 12 formula. seconds to come up this plan and yeah. it was better than yours I don't like it it was so, better than my plan <laughs> um, Willow can I ask you why you, you've got your only self-diagnosing? Are you planning to get um, clinically diagnosed? Money, money, um, I, I mean, like, first, it's like the money side. And secondly, I don't know what would it really do to help me. I think, because I think it is a spectrum. And I don't think mm. mine well, is extreme help. as much. Like, it, it may do, but I also Give think money, it, it, <laughs> it depends, like, if it's going to, if it started affecting my life really badly, I think I would. Mm. But at the moment, I'm, like, really happy where I am. And I think it's <laughs> fine. But like, <laughs> you won't, you won't, you won't. He's a lovely guy. I know yeah, him quite Tim's well. Yeah, Tim. Um, hey, Tim. <laughs> but don't yeah, I don't think it's like there's not much use in it. I think I just wish more girls got diagnosed early at school. And more lads as well, overlooked. actually. Yeah, um, and also more lads as adults, because a man with adult ADHD is, according to ADHD Archie, a unicorn. Which it turns out is also a thing about sex, but I didn't know that until I started <laughs> saying it, broadcasting it openly. Okay. This is the most YouTube thing we're ever going to do. Yeah. We hope you enjoyed our video. Please do like and subscribe.